so I'm making this quick video to not reveal this, but this. And all it is, is Borax crystals with a little bit of um, acrylic paint. And the base of it, what forms this, is made out of concrete. But I, what I did is I got a tile thing. I put it in the borax crystals. These are all borax crystals that had been painted with acrylic paint. And I painted it a long time ago. Now, I don't know why th this one is completely dried, but the skull if I touch it, it transfers the ink to my hand. See that? So what I'm thinking is that uh, if you had a canvas made out of the crystals or salts, a salt mixture mixed with the acrylic paint, I don't think it would dry ever. So it pretty much acts like wax and I remember there there was some recordings of I don't know if it was Indians or pyramid the pyramid people but they had paintings inside caves as far as I know but the images if you do like a Google search you will find that there's animal paintings and you know human stick figures with certain types of chemicals and they say that it's wax or animal fat um that they used to paint this stuff and they say to this day it is fresh so if you were to touch it it would get smeared and ruined basically I happened to notice this a few weeks ago, but I thought it would dry. And it's not as bad now. I mean, it obviously has dried. Which is a good thing. That's what I wanted. And those were my intentions. Was to get it to dry. Every single crystal looks super, super cool.
Um, it's a pin holder. But I don't know, it, it really has dried, so maybe I'm wrong. But it's still a mystery how that remains. Um, like that now I could try um, experimenting just quickly on mixing some paint with some salts to see if it will dry or not in an area but I will not experiment over and beyond that <sighs> unless I have um, time and if I see that um, that the research would need to be continued for whatever reason but <laughs> Yeah, it looks super, super cool, though. Just look at that. You just have to take the time to admire the beauty of this masterpiece yeah all it is is I think what really captures our attention is the reflections from the light. Oh, there's a hair in there. Oh, it's from the paintbrush, I think. Now, why else would there be a hair in there? Anyways, I gotta get that out. That's why these are so appealing. Instantly that pops up, that light, that light. For my glasses, found it luckily. Anyways. Nineteen ninety one penny. Shiny, isn't it? Metals, shiny objects. Killed a lot of people in the past, unfortunately. People are into shiny objects. Shiny things, reflections. It's weird, isn't it? Without even understanding the the metals in its entirety, like we do now with copper, gold, other precious metals, you know. But, um, anyways, this is a mystery to me, this ink, 
And I just wanted to share this um, with people. Um, maybe like if you're a painter, an artist, maybe there's paints already out there with this type of concept. But it stayed wet for a very, very long time. I mean, this is evidence. And I have, I have evidence of further evidence through the video that I uploaded. I don't know if it was live or I recorded it with my, one of my devices, my personal devices. And then I uploaded it to obviously YouTube or Facebook. But this, well, now with edit, photo editing and me being not, this not being on a 24 hour surveillance that I know of, um, to monitor if I just painted it right now to share a gimmick or whatever, or whatever you, People call it a ho hoist or ho hoist. I forget the word. Anyway, um, like something fake, but it's not fake. And um, yeah, like I said, this is just the borax crystals. And. Um, Another shiny object. There's um, this one. I also put this one in Borax Crystals. But I never painted this one. This one is made out of concrete as well. I painted it white. Then And then I dipped it in the Borax Crystals. As you can see there, um, they obviously have a different type of formation. This one looks like a more pure, um, filtered out concentration mixture, as opposed to this one. This was more of a non-filtered concentration mixture of the borax crystals in the water <laughs> and if you're unfamiliar with the terminology you can always look into how to make your own personal crystals crystal formation at home or at school or whatever through youtube um i also have this one here it's the same concept, and this one says it's a good day, something good day, anyway, to have a good day maybe, but see this here is the same thing with the borax crystals, so if I add paint, Will it dry? And I guess I can test that theory. Um, just with the fuck of it. Right? Right, ladies? Fuck it. Why not? What else do we gotta fucking lose in this bitch ass world? Okay, so this is permanent marker, Sharpie, and fuck it, why not? Now I'm going to see if this shit dries or not, after a few fucking days. And, you know, I, this is, I'm not trying to prove anyone right or wrong. I'm just trying to see if, um, you know what I'm saying, if this, uh... 
if this will dry or not. And I guess if you don't believe in the game, I guess you could do your own experimentations at home. So this one here, I bought for my flagger gloves for traffic control. I wanted the orange and the red. I uploaded a video on that one. You know, just fucking around, bored as fuck. Over here thinking I'm working for fucking NASA and shit. Seeing. So, uh, if I put this Q tip and find a spot. See, so this video is basically the evidence or proof of my theory. And although that one is a black color, I don't know where I left the black color one. So anyway, we're going to see if this dries. Now, I don't think it's going to dry personally. So it's kind of like wax paint. But if this works, then that means you could buy any type of fucking paint. This is my point. You could buy any paint, mix it with some salts, and there you go. You get some fucking, some out of this world fucking paint to paint your fucking projects with at home and shit. Or whatever. And, and, If you have a mold like this, and you fill it with salt, with water, let it, let the water dehydrate or come out over a few days. It will harden like a rock. So imagine if you had a square and you did that, then you could use this as a canvas. And if it doesn't dry, then that would be your, your, basically your, um, oil based paint. But the paint would not be oil based. It would just be the crystals, the salts. The salt in this case, this is the borax salt that created this, but it can also be smoothed off like a concrete table or like a, you know, smooth surface. So have fun, experiment. And um, if you come up with anything new in your research and development, in your personal home or business, don't be afraid to share it with the world. This is the main purpose of my videos and life in itself in general. For us to fuck each other's brains. Till we all fucking just have a fucking awesome orgasm of fucking cool awesome fucking ideas. That we could just share with each other so we could fucking aspire everyone and each other in ways that we never thought or imagined. Just like sex. <sighs> ah, I love you ladies. Have a great night. Suck it easy.